Hey everyone, uh, welcome. My name is Reed. I am the product manager here for on DMARC, uh, and I want to give you an overview of our newest feature, which is called DNS Guardian. Uh, this utilizes some of our existing uh, subdomain detection capabilities to detect any uh, misconfigured or dangling DNS records that have the potential to be taken over by uh, malicious actors. Uh, so at the top of the screen uh, here, you can see the total amount of issues that we've discovered. Uh, and then this is broken down by uh, sort of unique host names and unique related to domains. So host names are the uh, parent domains uh, and then the related to is a sort of specific subdomain that has been affected by this issue that we've detected or a parent domain uh, where that situation is applicable. Uh, you can also see at the top here, uh, there's a severity. Uh, so you can, it's broken down by critical issues or high issues and also by issue type. So you can see in this example, we've got a few different types of issues. So we've got uh, a handful of uh, dangling NS issues, uh, similar with dangling C name, and also have a few issues related to an SPF uh, subdomain takeover. So if we uh, look at uh, the scroll down slightly, um, you can see again, uh, sort of broken down by host name and the related to domain, the uh, severity of that issue and the issue type is on this table um, with each row here represents an issue that's been detected. So there may be situations where multiple uh, records are affected for a single host name. Uh, and if this is the case, then you would see uh, multiple issues um, on this uh, table here. Um, you can see the the specific uh, affected record um, on in this column here, uh, as well as the uh, ability to sort of leave yourself notes. Um, so if I can just put a note in here, um, you can press save and then it will appear next to the issue itself uh, for later. Uh, and then if you if we go into an issue, um, you can see an overview of the uh, issue itself. Um, so this is the information from the previous screen carried over. So you can, again, the related two domains, the affected subdomains. Uh, you also see the date that we first observed this issue. Um, and we give an overview of uh, what the issue is, as well as further detail on how to actually solve that issue and the uh, record. So you know uh, what to do when you get into your, your DNS. Um, If we scroll down again on this page slightly, so again, you can see the record here, you can see the DMARC record, uh, you can see the SPF record, um, and then if you would like to, you can go and uh, view the full chain in our, our SPF checker uh, and, 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 and find out more. On the uh, top right hand side, uh, you, you see that we also give some DNS hygiene tips on uh, in the corner. Uh, this is uh, to maintain good DNS hygiene, and these will vary depending on the issue that you see. Um, so if we go back and we go into a different issue, so let's take this dangling NS1, you see that the uh, tips are uh, slightly different. So we try to make them sort of contextual for um, depending on the issue that you're looking at. Uh, so really, really excited about this feature. I think it has a huge amount of potential to provide value. I'm looking forward to everyone using it and hearing your feedback so we can uh, sort of make changes and improve it in the future. Thank you.